Hello everybody, I'm Godot Gu, and today we're gonna make the city for a GTA game in Godot. Okay, so I'll start by getting some assets for the city, and just gonna use this one from each.io, which you can find in the description. Then after we unzip it and open the folder, you'll find a bunch of things right here. Open the assets, and select the GLTF, and just drag it over into the project like this. Now it's going to import everything, and I'm just gonna rename the folder to city just like this and it's gonna import again then open it and you'll have a bunch of really nice city pieces just like this i'm going to start with just a simple base just drag it over like this and you have the base and it automatically made a 3d scene for you now i'm going to reset the transform right here and the really nice thing in godot is that you can add snap options so you'll have some kind of grid to place around the city blocks you have in order to do that just enable the snap right here and let's go and configure it in the transform in the configure snap i'm gonna set the translate snap to 2 and the rotation to 90 now if we decide to duplicate it then you can just drag it around like this and it will snap to the grid really nicely like that now let's add some really nice buildings i'm gonna use the ones with the base so let's get building a right here it's also going to snap like this i just place it here and as you can see, it's a really nice building and it's already fully colored and everything just like that. Then another nice thing in this asset pack is that it has a bunch of road pieces. So I just get the road straight right here and it's a really nice road. As you can see, I can just rotate it and it will snap to 90 degrees just like this. I'm just going to put it like this. Then we also have a road junction, which you probably don't want to have like that, but it's possible. And then a, a corner, which you can... Rotate like this, and again you can just duplicate whatever you want. Anyway, I think I just time lapse everything and just make the simple structure of the city. So I just delete everything by just dragging over like this and selecting everything and delete. Make sure to color everything like that. Now delete, and let's see what I'm gonna do. I think this is a pretty nice starting city for us. By the way, you can move around faster with the shift key. Now, this is pretty cute and everything, but I think it's a little empty. So let's see what else we have here. And I'm going to disable the snap because we're no longer building the actual blocks of the city. Okay, so we have a fire hydrant, which is now buried in the ground, but now it's fine. Then we have a little dumpster. pretty hard to adjust the ground level just go like this and now you can kind of see it you can do it with the shadow too looks pretty nice then we have this little bush and also a bench and i guess we also have a box and another box because why not and we have some trash because what is a city without trash you know okay just place everything like this so we have it sort of laid out like that. I just place everything else. I catch you when I'm done. I forgot to mention that we also have some really nice cars in this pack, which is really nice, and we are totally going to use them in the future. I guess you can also just place them around like that. Here, one on the road, on the right side. Okay. Let's have another one right here. Now we want to make it go 180 degrees. So I just enable the snap by just pressing Y. And then rotate it twice and pretty nice. And then disable the snap so you can adjust it like that. And of course you can also just place them around roughly like that. Doesn't have to be that precise. Okay, so let's do something with this little corner. By the way, we also have some crosswalks. So... Let's enable the snap again. And right here we have this little crossing like that. And let's rotate it. Now we hope you like this video and that you made a better city than me. 
By the way, the next video is about our character, so stay tuned for it. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!